Yo, how's it going guys? It's FX here, and today we're going to be talking about a few things from the E3 EA Play press conference live stream. So let's jump right into it. A new trailer was released for Battlefield 1 showing off biplanes, tanks, horses, first person gameplay, and other dynamics. Also, a bunch of multiplayer content was revealed, and even a few celebrities showed up to do a 64 player match. Your data recorder says your original pilot was killed in action. Correct. My original pilot was KIA. Titanfall 2 gets a release date of October 28th and two gameplay trailers. The game is confirmed to include a single player campaign that you will be able to play offline. Nice. If you like Star Wars games, then you should be excited. Well, don't get too excited, at least yet. Multiple Star Wars games are currently in production, including a new Star Wars Battlefront coming next year, a narrative Star Wars action game by Visceral Games in 2018, and also Respawn is working on a title, so there's plenty of Star Wars games coming in the future. EA announced a $1 million tournament for Madden 17 starting this fall. Electronic Arts has plans to provide scheduling software for gaming enthusiasts to make it easier to set up tournaments. And I like the idea of this because it brings gaming deeper into the competitive scene and it also makes it fun to watch. A new program called EA Originals was launched, which will support small gaming developers. The game being shown now is called Fee, and it is the first EA Originals title. BioWare took the stage to announce Mass Effect Andromeda. To build a new home for humanity. Imagine distant star systems. They explained how the game will build on the old ones and allow more gameplay freedom. The game will take place in the Andromeda Galaxy and use the Frostbite engine. Thank you for watching today's video. My name is Evan, or Zephex, and I'll talk to you again soon.